guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 36 Gold Dust figure. I know this review is a little late. I don't know why it took forever opening this figure, but I did. Um, you could get it on ringsidecollectibles.com. I'm not sure if he's on Amazon.com anymore. He might be on MattelShop.com. Um, but otherwise, you could pretty much find this set at Walmart or um, Toys R Us, I know for a fact. Anyway, uh, that being said, let's take a look at him up close in the packaging. As you can see, it's his highly detailed action figure, series number 36. There's a WWE logo. Here's Goldust in a standard pose. It says Goldust, series 36. There's a picture of him there in the Elite Collection logo. And it says includes entrance row. Looking on this side of the box, it says series 36, Goldust, and there's a picture of him there. And this side has an artwork I always point out I like. Looking at the back of the box, there's a kind of creepy image of Goldust there in his robe in a standard boring pose. Um, there's a Lee Collection logo, and it's Goldust, and it's based off his 2014 look. Hopefully he returns again soon. I know he's been out for a little while now. Uh, there's some info about him there. It says recreate the action of WWE. Also in the set is Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, Stardust, Bo Dallas, and Diamond Dallas Page. It says compete in these superstar rings. Pictured as a raw basic ring and SmackDown basic ring. And company information listed at the bottom. Sorry for the jingling dogs in the background. Uh, but that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 36 Gold Dust figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty cool figure. Um, I'm not a big fan of screaming head scans though. Um, I think it looks like him for the most part, to be honest, but I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of the open mall figures. Um, I prefer his other scans, but it's still pretty cool. I loved when he had this makeup. I thought it was one of his coolest makeup uh, that he wore in a long time. So that was pretty cool to get a figure of him like this. So anyway, let's take a look at his robe first. As you can see, it's a thin rubber. See all the cool design. It's a hooded one, obviously, as you saw in the packaging. So there's a tremendous amount of detail in this thing. It's really too bad they couldn't make this in fabric. I'm not really sure how they could, to be honest, um, as there's just so much detail. But it's a really cool display piece, for sure. You can see what he looks like in it out of the packaging uh, at the end of the video. But it fastens like this, as you can see. There's two holes there, and they just latch into that part of it, and you just push it closed, and it should lock. Uh, tight like that on him, so it fits pretty snug to him anyway because of the hood so uh, It's a cool display piece definitely so that being said let's take a look at gold dust up close as you can see Here's his newest head scan on his latest figure for who knows how long now I really hope they make an old flashback of him in gold and silver uh, But anyway, I think the head scan pretty much looks like him the flame paint job is pretty cool. I noticed some uh, paint I need to touch up there on his lip, um, but it's pretty cool. And then the back, of course, shows his hair and his neck. So, very cool. It's a ball jointed head that goes up and down, as well as left and right. Looking at his torso, you can see all the awesome detail in his suit. It says gold dust on the back. He has an elite ab crunch joint. His ball jointed arms that go up and down as well, well outward, excuse me, as well as up and down. You can see all the detail on his arms as well, which is really neat. Very nice detail. He has swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joints, and he has a swivel wrist joint as well as a hand joint that goes up and down. And what's cool about his wrist, if you can see that, is it has wrinkles to show that he is wearing his suit, which is really awesome. Uh, looking at his lower torso, he has a swivel waist joint, and you can see the flames down his legs as well. His ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. He has a swivel thigh joint, double jointed knees, you can see wrinkles to make his tights look authentic. 
then he has a swivel boot joint, laces and wrinkles to make them look authentic with the gold dust logo on both sides. Then lastly, he has a typical ankle joint that goes up and down as well. Mine's stiff, so just be careful. And then he has a little pivot ankle joint there too. And uh, yeah, that's Elite 36 Gold Dust. Pick him up if you're still able to find him at this point. Otherwise, get him on ringsidecollectibles.com. And yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. <laughs>